Welcome to the Integrative Psychiatry and Wellness Program's Short Rain Meditation Practice. My name is Debbie Cohen, and I'll be leading you in today's practice. So you might remember being a kid, you might have had this experience of lying on the grass. Maybe you've done it as an adult, good for you. If you lie on the back and look up at the clouds, you, your attention might uh, settle on a particular cloud for a little while, um, and then it might drift over to another cloud that takes the attention instead. And um, when we sit or lie down for meditation and we dial down the external stimulation and we turn up the volume on what's going on inside, a process called interoception, um, when we do that, um, we might find that our attention, if, if we do a practice called um, choiceless awareness, our attention might uh, shift from various thoughts we're experiencing um, and associated feelings with those thoughts, or perhaps just exploring a feeling, what it feels like in the body. Attention might go to an image that's in our mind. It might uh, drift over to the experience of different body sensations we're experiencing in that moment or sounds. So it could go to the in internal landscape or the external landscape, our experience of that external landscape with sounds and images we might see. Um, but, um, but when something difficult is going on in our life, when there's some content that's challenging for us and we can't really take it in that well, it tends to consume the attention. And those clouds that looked so innocuous, so harmless on the last screen, look a little bit more like this. They're a little more ominous, a little more threatening, a little more like thunder clouds. So when we have that experience where we're finding our attention is really getting wrapped around a difficulty we're dealing with, uh, this is a great practice. <clears throat> And I was introduced to this practice by Tara Brock, who uh, has written several books about self-compassion and shares this practice. She even has a book that's all about RAIN practice. Um, and it's an acronym that stands for R for recognize, A for accept or allow, I for investigating with curiosity and compassion. And then finally, N for getting a little bit of distance from it, not identifies it not identifying with the content or not taking it all so personally, getting a little more perspective. And so giving ourselves a little time to consciously experience and be with our experience of a difficulty sometimes can give us a little more freedom around it. Um, so that's what we'll do right now. And I'll invite you to either lie down on your back or to sit upright uh, in a relaxed, comfortable way with your hands resting on your legs if you're sitting, with your arms relaxed by your sides if you're lying. And if you're comfortable, you can close the lids over the eyes. And whether you choose to keep your eyes open or closed, you want to soften the eyes. If you leave them open, just settle the gaze on one spot so that you can uh, bring attention to your inner landscape a little more easily. There's less competing from outside. And we'll start by bringing awareness to the breathing. Just as it's happening right now, as it's flowing in and out, where you don't need to change it or fix it or make it better, but you just feel connected to how it's flowing in this moment, almost as a reflection of the state of the nervous system right now. now. As you take this practice where we're consciously going to bring a challenging circumstance, a difficulty to mind, you can always return to feeling your feet and feeling the breathing. just to get back to being current in this room where you are right now. So 
So the R in RAIN is for recognize. And in this first part of the practice, bring to mind a difficulty that, that you're struggling with or have struggled with. Not only the event in and of itself, but the experience of it. What it's like for you. And the A in RAIN is to very consciously accept this. You may not like it, but it's, it is what's happening. There is no alternate reality, or it is what's happened. And if you could find a way to just simply let it be as it is, allow it to be. If that seems a tall order, imagine what it would be like if you could simply allow it to be exactly as it is and exactly as it is for you, just the way you experience it. The I in RAIN is to investigate. So being with how this, just that this is, that this experience is happening or has happened, and that you feel the way you do with it, what exactly is that like for you? How does it feel to be with the person who's, who's challenged by that circumstance, that difficulty? What does it feel like? Emotionally, what does it feel like? And even physically, as you bring it to mind, what do you notice about body sensations that accompany that practice of simply being aware, and being present with the suffering that's coming with that experience. Not making it wrong to be suffering, just kind of curious, and very compassionate, open, just, oh, The last step of the RAIN meditation is to get a little bit of distance, to, to sort of see this as part of the experience that you're having, and for non-identifying. It is part of the experience right now. It's part of the experience, or it's the experience that you've been having or have had, and it's not all of the experience. It's not all of your experience at all. In fact, you have the ability to bring attention simply to experiencing what the eyes are seeing behind the closed lids or if they're open, gazing softly at one spot. Appreciating sight. And you have the ability to experience that constant, steady support of the breathing. You may want to bring to mind other aspects of your experience apart from this challenge, this difficulty. So now you can let go of holding on to this experience, feel the breathing again, and we'll close the practice with the sound of the bell.
I hope you are able to benefit from practicing with a little guidance today, doing the RAIN meditation practice. If you'd like to contact us to find out more about other offerings, you can reach the UMN Integrative Psychiatry and Wellness Program uh, by, by contacting us at this email address. Thanks so much for your time today.